Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here bringing you part three in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew warnings at Waverly Academy. We just got our password from the student body president here by doing her DNA homework for her. Oh, we got a text. Looks like Mel got another note. Goth girl gets second black catted. Black, I'm guessing that's what that's... Um abbreviated for. Interesting. It is 12.43 in the afternoon. Okay, good to know, good to know. Waverly website. So our password was WAC35NE136. I'm not sure what that stands for. I'm in charge of the snack shop? This should be interesting. I don't even know where it is. We walked past it, Nancy, and we talked about it. Ooh, this is pretty. Did it have a stone pathway? Maybe it did, but this is like a summary type view. Becca Sawyer, every student is assigned a school work study task. You are snack shop boss. Failure to perform this daily task will result in three demerits. Okay, so we better go do that. The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories by Edgar Allan Poe has been stolen from the Ivy Special Collections. Five credits to the individual who recovers and returns the book to the library. Interesting that the Black Cat and Other Poe Stories is missing. That seems like a coincidence or not. Scheduled maintenance of the school's website will occur during prep week break. Numerous pages and most quick links will be inoperative during this time. Any student with information pertaining to the individuals responsible for the recent black cat notes and harmful pranks is to speak to the headmistress immediately. Waverly Academy is an exclusive private boarding school for girls grades 9 through 12 located in picturesque upstate New York. So it was upstate New York. I wasn't sure if it was that or Massachusetts, but upstate New York. Waverly combines renowned academics, athletics, and arts with a strong social community and gorgeous architecture. Let's see about us. Nestled in the picturesque setting of the Adirondacks, Waverly Academy is a world-renowned college preparatory boarding school exclusively for girls. Established in 1866, our rigorous academic curriculum and social community endow students with the skills and knowledge required to succeed in their future endeavors. The story of Waverly begins shortly after the end of the Civil War. With the conflict over, attention once again turned to the importance of educating the youth of the day. Four influential women were inspired to create a school that would lead the nation in providing an unparalleled level of education for young girls dignitas in omnis these founders harriet ramsey rita hollowell mabel whittier and esther abbott opened the doors and ushered in the first class of 14 girls in the fall of 1866 today where Villa academy continues to embrace its mission statement for excellence in all facets of life an exacting admissions process limits incoming class sizes to 50 students allowing the girls to experience their studies in an intimate seminar setting with an average student teacher ratio of 12 to 1 that sounds like a dream. Much of the boarding experience takes place not in the classroom, but in the hours after the school day ends. Participation in the numerous clubs, activities, and athletics available, along with residential living, develop not only social and leadership skills, but lifelong friends. Interesting. Academics. Valedictorian race. This is where we need to upload photos. So we have Izzy here, which we can download. And we have uh, Leela, which we can download. So there's two photos uploaded to the website. English department announces the winner of the coveted pen to paper award. That's under construction. Regulus curriculum contributing to the academic success of each student is Waverly's renowned faculty. As our seniors cross below the arts on graduation day, 100% of the class matriculates into top colleges around the world, secure in their knowledge of academics, the arts, and themselves. That sounds very nice. The Jasmine Ivy Library is a state-of-the-art resource center. So that's the name of the library we're in. A fun cookie is if you go to search the library catalog, press space, and then enter, and you will get a list of all of the books in the library. You can see it's searching for a long time, and you'll get so many books. It's so cool. The Story of Four by Madeline Moore. Interesting. That sounds familiar. Let's see. Musical Notation, The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories, Formal Victorian Dining, Do Rachel Hubbard, and Do Mel Corbelis. She has a piano book. Rachel has the Formal Dining book. Interesting. World Almanacs. There's... Um, a lot of textbooks and if you keep going you'll start to find um, books that have been in other mysteries so let's find an example let's see a visitor's guide to Paseo del Mar um, by Hal Tanaka so that's obviously a reference to secrets can kill 
Um, A Tale of Two Bunnies by Fluff E Tail. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Um, what's another one that's from a different mystery? I love looking through these books. It's so cool. There's lots of um, detective books, surprisingly. Let's see, Greenhouses, Mastering the Art of Illusion. That sounds like um, the book from Message in a Haunted Mansion. Could be wrong, though. The Zodiac in You is definitely from Message in a Haunted Mansion. So maybe they are, because they're so close together. Old West Romances. That might be from Message in a Haunted Mansion. Uh, ha, ha, ha. It's definitely arranged by... Um, um, topic as well and by the different games bandits and thieves Japanese traditions and customs protecting the manatees Paseo Del Mar codes and regulations history of San Francisco D is for diamonds crabs poetical works like as in Vincent Crab like <laughs> from Harry Potter didn't know he could write books. Purple Hearted Queen by Beatrice Hotchkiss. That's another one. So it's really fun to like go through all of these books. Like Glyphs Revealed, obviously, is probably from Secret of the Scarlet Hand. If you go all the way through, you'll find a lot of really fun books. I recommend doing that. Student Life. The Campus Word, SOS Worked. As you'll recall, last month I expressed concern that Casper, our beloved resident albino squirrel, faced certain starvation this winter because Waverly's groundskeeper had begun keeping the ground below the oak tree where Casper lives spotlessly clean. Practically every acorn that fell was swept up almost immediately, giving Casper no chance to collect them and store them for the winter. Okay, so maybe the groundskeeper was doing this because of the infamous great popcorn heist back in September, wherein Casper ransacked the backpack of some careless freshman and caused the contents of the bag of popcorn within to get blown from one end of campus to the other. Yes, Casper made a mess, but cutting off his supply of acorns in response was cruel and unusual punishment, right? Anyway, in reaction to the groundskeeper's overreaction, I urged all of you to go out every day and gather as many acorns as you could and pile them at the base of the oak tree so Casper would have food for the winter. I called this the SOS campaign, Save Our Squirrel, and guess what? It worked! The school has ordered the groundskeeper to back off and only clean the ground under the oak tree twice a week. And so, ladies, thanks to my suggestion and your efforts, Casper is once again scampering up and down his tree, merrily gathering acorns and getting into his usual mischief. Well done, all of us. The campus word is written by current student body president Izzy Romero. Interesting. Security blotter. Theft. Five credits will be awarded. Forced entry. Student caught breaking into dorm room using their ID card. Keys were reportedly locked inside. No damage to door. Whittier Hall. Uh, theft. Minor altercation. Two students involved. No injuries reported. Sound violation. Ramsey Hall. Student playing musical instrument after lights out. Repeat offender. <laughs> that sounds like Mel. Oh, funny. Student handbook. So these are the rules that we need to follow. Otherwise, we'll get in trouble. Major school rules. Honesty, respect, punctuality. We need to follow these um, time restrictions. Um, Nancy, I think, is considered a senior. So she needs to be in her room no later than 11. Responsibility, accountability, noise violation, failed room inspection, lots of reasons that you can get demerits, late to class, open flame in room including candles. Yeah, I always hated that when I lived in dorms that you couldn't have candles. Missing evening study hall, caught in the school halls after lights out. We don't want to do that. We don't want to vandalize anything. Unauthorized overnight guest. Oh no. Completion of volunteer projects. So these are ways we can earn points. Posting the latest high score in double take. Uh, working more than required time in daily work study duty. Aha, so if we do like the snack shop more than once, we can get uh, more points. Nancy currently has zero demerits. We can't look at any of these. We're getting a weird noise. <laughs> Why Waverly? That's under instruction. I love this noise. This is hilarious. This sounds like a really cool school. I would totally go here. But I always think too that I like the idea of a boarding school better than I would actually like going to a boarding school. Looks like I need a key. How do I get in? By more. That's like the story that we need to read. There is a way that you can um, 
break the <laughs> break the glass by uh, clicking this flag here, but I don't want to get demerits. So if you want to try that out in your game, go ahead and click the flag right here. I'm really tempted to do it, but I won't. Um, and break the glass. You'll get in major trouble, but it's kind of fun. Okay, I think we've pretty much explored the whole the whole building. Let's maybe check in with Kareen. What time is it? It's 2.43. Actually, before we check in with Kareen, let's go do our snack shop duty for the day. Because if we don't do that, we'll get into big trouble. Or we'll get a demerit. So, let's do the snack shop. Also, I love the snack shop, so I'm totally excited to do this. These are the directions. Um, okay, everybody. Snack shop's open. Give me an order. Okay, toasted bread. Bread toast and then they want a juice and an you know i hate to admit it but i really like calculus no you don't no i do i love going to that class everybody does mr harris is like the best looking teacher in the whole universe i love listening to them gossip come get your order it's so funny it's supposed to snow pretty soon blizzard type snow Blizzard type stuff. Oh dear. Get an apple. We made our cookie already and some pretzels. Come get your order. Water. Orange and a cookie. That's an easy one. Just a quick snack. This person wants a toasted bagel. Okay, we'll get that one. Order up! Our bagels are ready, and they want two tomatoes and two lettuce. And another toasted bagel. How amazing would this be to have in your dorm room? This would be so cool. What am I looking for? Apple, and they want juice as well. And I love this movie. Oh, gosh, I love this game. There. All done. I did it. Oh. Whoa. What's this? Wonder what this is to. Hmm. There's a few places I need a key, so that's kind of cool. Let's check in with Leela. Hey, what's going on? Are you and Izzy pretty good friends? We get along. We're roommates mostly because we're both valedictorian candidates, and that's just the way the room assignments worked out. So you don't know her that well? Sure I do. I mean, with Izzy, what you see is what you get. She's smart, she's pretty, she's popular, she's always got a boyfriend. That's Izzy. What more is there to know? Any idea what happened to the book of Poe stories that's missing from the library? I sure don't have it. Mel, our resident goth girl, she probably does. That freak's probably working on a way to bring him back from the dead so he can autograph it. I'll check back with you later. Bye! That freak. Oh, these girls. It's funny because they're so mean, but it's so realistic. I mean, that's how girls in high school are. Speaking as a girl who has been in high school. Someone didn't lock their door. But we can't go in, <laughs> even though she didn't answer. I want to break into her room. Come on, Nancy. Where's your sense of adventure? Um, let's see if we can get um, a reference to another game. Not nice, Dwayne. Not nice at all. <laughs> Reference to, um, stay tuned for danger. I'm going to say the second mystery in the series. Yeah? Becca the new girl, what's going on? Hmm. Let's take her picture I need first. to take a close-up of you for a page on the school website I'm helping put up. The school wants my picture on its website? Groovy. Blast away. Okay, we got a picture of Mel. So... <laughs> Do you hang out with Izzy much? I don't hang out with her at all. I can't stand her. She's so fake and vacuous. It's like talking to a mannequin. Hmm. How can she be vacuous and be a valedictorian candidate? You tell me, and we'll both know. Are you friends with Leela? No, although I used to be. Of course, that was in grade school, before she got caught up in sports. Now all she thinks about is competing and winning and school spirit. 
Stuff I just find pathetic. Do you think she's smart? Extremely. Which, to me, makes her descent into jockdom even sadder. Do most kids like her? I'm not a fan, but everyone else? You bet. Who do you think the black cat is? I don't do conversations on that subject, remember? Especially when it's so obvious that it's Izzy. What makes it so obvious? Izzy doesn't deserve to be valedictorian, and she knows it. She also knows she'll never get into an Ivy League school unless she's valedictorian. So, she has to eliminate the competition. Do you by any chance have a library book called The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories? The one that's missing from the library? Sure don't. I've never been much into Edgar. He's a little over the top, even for me. <laughs> I'll quit bugging you. Sounds good. I enjoy that he's over the top, personally. Okay, let's check in with Corrine. Hi. Hey, how come I couldn't find anything about you online, like on your page? Is that a big deal? Well, yeah. I mean, anyone under the age of, like, 30 who doesn't have something up on your page either A, has been living on Mars, or B, is seriously weird. And since it doesn't look like either of those applies to you, what gives? I took my page down because... for personal reasons. Well, do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Well, who is he? Where does he live? Come on, you can tell me stuff. I'm your roommate. I'm sorry, but I, I'd rather not talk about him right now, okay? Yeah, okay, whatever. So what do you want to talk about? Rachel enlisted me to help her get her web project done. Better you than me. You don't like her? Let's just say she's not one of my favorite people. She's kind of flaky. Like last month, she flunked a test that took her out of the running for valedictorian. Technically, she shouldn't even be on this floor anymore. I met Mel. She's very... different. Yeah, I think that's why we're friends. She did say I was her friend, right? Oh, sorry, that was dumb. <laughs> there we go, sounding all insecure and loserish again. Are you a Waverly Legacy like Mel is? As if. I earned my way into this place. I was accepted because I was the most deserving applicant, like, ever. Those are my words, not the school's, of course, but it's still true. <laughs> That'd be a fun acceptance letter. You were the most deserving applicant, like, ever. I met Leela. She was in the rec room. She's usually in the gym, either bouncing, kicking, hitting, or throwing some kind of ball. You name a sport, she's great at it. And competitive? That girl loves to win, and almost always does. When did she hurt her wrist? She started wrapping her wrist about a week ago, but is it actually hurt? Debatable. Could she be the black cat? Well, she's here on a scholarship, so it's real hard for me to believe she's smart enough to one, secretly be the black cat, and two, divert suspicion by faking an injury and making herself look like a victim of the black cat. But I have to admit, it is possible. Any idea where that book that's missing from the library is? Why? Are you an Edgar Allan Poe fan? Actually, yeah, I am. You and me both. Unfortunately, I don't have a clue who has it. Did it go missing before or after notes from the black cat started showing up? Before. Right before, in fact. I see what you're getting at. It was called the black cat, wasn't it? That's kind of freaky. Any idea why it would be missing? Somebody must have wanted that book and not wanted anyone to know they wanted it. That's all I can figure. Do you know where I can get the key that opens the special collections cabinet in the library? You can get it from me. How bad do you want it? Uh, kind of bad. There's a book in the collection I'd really like to look at. Okay, here's the deal. I'll give you the key to the cabinet if you can finish these orthographic views for me. How do I do that? Just figure out which views go with which object. Each object has a front, top, and side view. Those are examples in case you need them. I can do that. Bring them back when you're done. Anything else? I need to take a close-up of you for a web page Rachel's working on. That okay? <sighs> Whip out your camera and let's get it over with. Cheese! Who holds their hand out when they take a picture? <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Later. The animation of these characters is actually really good. Like, they move in a really realistic way, which I appreciate. Um, let's see. Let's see here. 
We could... I'm trying to decide if there's anything else I want to do in this part. I don't want to waste too much time. Maybe let's just go do the snack shop one more time, uh, because we'll get bonus points, or... Um, okay, credits. people! I'm ready to take your orders! We get credits if we do it more often. Toasted bagel... I have got such a crush on Mr. Harris, I can't stand it! You and every other girl at Waverly. Not every girl. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. Just the ones who take calculus. <laughs> Order up! He's cute, but he's not really what you'd call hot, you know? Well, if she doesn't want him, I'll take him. I think he's a doll. Come get your order! Oh, not a toasted bagel. Just a regular bagel. Are they done gossiping already? I love listening to them gossip about, like, who's cute. Order up! Dating who. It's so fun. Bagel with cheese. I feel like if I were coming to the snack shop, I would probably get... I probably would do a bagel with cheese, but I'd get it toasted. Food's ready! And then I would do um, a cookie because cookies are amazing. I get some milk to go with it. And then maybe, yeah, that might be it, honestly. Bagel with cheese and a cookie, that sounds so good. Now I want that. Juice, apple, chocolate bar. This person's hungry. Granola. There, all done. That was like a whole lunch. Maybe they missed lunch. All right, cool. I think I'm going to leave this part right here, fellow detectives. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.